what exactly is his issue with anime? It's fine. A video just one hour of video. I'm like, bro, shut the fuck up. Oh, you play it. Okay, fine. You play it. Fine. Don't come in. Like, by the way, uh, anime like Berserk would completely align with this like male self-improvement kind of idea that he's going for. He is so remarkably uncultured. Like there he he doesn't see like the, the way he thinks is just so retarded. He he literally will categorize a particular form of media as all bad not realizing that a particular type of media would, you know, fulfill certain cultural interests of like a particular group. So you can find anime that are, I don't know, like, like he would say, I don't know, Jeffrey incel, you know, loser dipshit bullcrap, like some etchies or something. But you'll find anime like Berserk that, you know, cover topics like uh, what is good, what is evil, stoicism, um, you know, like Nietzschean ideas, uh, you know, duality of man, stuff like that, you know, shit that he would be interested in. And he doesn't even realize that because he's such a fucking uncultured, ignorant moron. When you're trying to change my mind. Don't come in here and try and tell my boys to stop playing video games. Hamza's range would have become even more heated as he commented on videos that were critical of his stance on self-improvement and claimed the videos were coming from the same people who promoted anime and video games in chat. These people, they've made videos about me over the last year, countless relentless critical videos about me saying that Hamza's being too hard, but one hour of video games is fine. I watch them and I'm just thinking, how the, f like they're saying that I'm a bad person because I'm too strict on self-improvement. How? He thinks playing one hour of video games is bad for you. Just one hour. You know, I, I really wish I could follow this guy for a week and just watch what this dipshit does. You want to bet he he just does horse shit all day? Um, this guy has a situation where he just doesn't really have to work. That's been his lifestyle for quite a long time. So... He was making a lot of fucking money off of YouTube and at his peak when he was making, I think he was saying he was making like $30,000 a month off of YouTube. Um, he admitted he was only working for about an hour, hour and a half a week. He would literally spend one day, shoot multiple videos in that one day for just about an hour and a half send those video clips off to his editors and they would be able to edit three, four, five, six videos. And that would be his entire work for the week. And then next week he'd work for another hour, hour and a half. And that was his routine. If you have a lifestyle where, you know, you virtually don't have to work, like do nothing. There is no fucking possible way you are going to spend every single minute of your daily activity exercising, studying, I don't know, a new language or reading about art or, you know, you know, anything that would be considered productive. You are going to have to have some amount of leisure time. So I, I can guarantee you this guy would play, if he doesn't have like a video game console or a computer, he would play like Candy Crush on his fucking phone or sit around just watching Game of Thrones or something. He he also had, he's also had multiple girlfriends throughout this time. Uh, his last girlfriend who left him, he was with her for a few years, I think like three, four years. And it was a pretty serious relationship where they... He was saying he was thinking of marrying her and having a kid. You really think a fucking like woman, if you're in a relationship for that long, would tolerate you doing nothing but, you know, quote unquote work, like productive activities, like things that fall under that category, like exercise, studying, more exercise, more studying. No, it, Jasmine gets upset at me for how much I train. 
And I work out like probably three hours total per day. And, and that includes weight training, um, cardiovascular exercise, and um, non-exercise activity. Like I'll walk the dogs or just go on a walk or something just for some aer uh, aerobic activity. She gets annoyed at that. Um, and then on top of that, I have to stream for so much. And then I, I have my own kind of life and interest where, you know, I might just want to do some stuff on my own, like play my own video games that aren't co-op that she can't play, or I'll work on my motorcycles, you know, do wrenching and stuff. So she, like she gets annoyed that, you know, my own life is so busy and it, it doesn't really involve her so much. The idea that you could have a lifestyle where you are only doing things that don't require any sort of leisure, like video games, watching movies and crap like that, and have a long term relationship where you're supposed to be doing things with your partner. Like, you know, you kind of have to in a relationship. He's just full of shit. Like, yeah, this guy doesn't play video games with his fucking girlfriend or watch, you know, stupid rom coms like chicks are into. He, he's just absolutely full of shit. And I think he does this intentionally, not to necessarily make himself look better, but it's a, um, it's like a brainwashing technique. He's trying to convince his fans that they have some sort of personal problem. So he runs a self-improvement channel. He's, his kind of income relies on young men thinking they have a problem and seeking a help for that problem. If he can manipulate them into thinking they have a problem when they really don't, that means they're going to have to come to him more for advice for help. So they watch more of his content or they buy more of his programs and shit like that. So this guy tries to convince young men who don't know any better Oh, if you watch porn for 10 or 15 minutes, you have a problem. You need help. That's not normal. You're fucked up. If you play video games for an hour or two every so often, oh, you have a problem. That's, that's not normal. That's fucked up. He's deliberately trying to manipulate his audience into thinking that they have a problem. So they watch and, and buy his content when they really don't. And they, they don't need help. They're just normal fucking individuals. Oh, am I a bad person from expecting better from my young boys? I see their critical videos.